The shop version's down. That's all for us tonight. Campbell Brown takes it away right now. CNN Primetime begins right now. Hi, everybody. Day two of high political drama and another story that overshadowed the Obama administration's agenda. 24 hours after the Secretary of Agriculture stood by his decision to force out an African-American em employee accused of racism, both the USDA and the White House are now tripping over themselves to apologize to her. That worker, Shirley Sherrod, watched today's extraordinary developments right from our CNN studios, and you're going to hear from her along with those very humbled officials uh, with analysis from our political panel coming up tonight. Also tonight, a look at America's new drug epidemic, prescription abuse. People traveling hundreds of miles to score a quick fix from something you may have right now in your own medicine cabinet. We're going to take you on a ride down Roxy Road. And speaking of rides, ours is coming to an end tonight, and I'm going to have some parting thoughts a little bit later in our broadcast. But our number one story, once again, grab the headlines today and all the buzz online tonight. There are major developments in the ouster of an African-American woman from the Department of Agriculture. Both the USDA and the White House now profusely apologizing to Shirley Sherrod, offering her uh, her job back. But the scandal has once again put the Obama administration squarely in the middle of a controversy over race. We start tonight with White House senior correspondent Ed Henry. And, and David, will this, and the fact that he offered uh, Shirley Sherrod a new opportunity at, at the USDA, uh, close the chapter, as he put it? Well, <clears throat> first, Campbell, let me say that uh, it's an honor to be here among your guests on as you close this chapter of your life and move on to the next. Thank you, Thank David. you. Thank you for being here, and thank you for all you've done. Uh, I do not think this ends it. Uh, all right. Um, many thanks, David, Michael, uh, John, as always. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Good luck, Campbell. Thank all the best you. to you, Campbell, you. sincerely. Coming up next, uh, the final push to stop the oil that flowed into the Gulf for good. But now there is word of a possible delay. We're going to tell you about that. Plus, the new drug scourge, uh, prescription drugs, you're not going to believe how easy it is to buy them. They were just kids when their world was literally falling apart. First a hurricane, then an earthquake how a young generation is trying to rebuild the places they called home. That's coming up, but first, Joe Johns is here with a look at some of the other stories we're following tonight. Hey, Joe. Hey, Campbell. President Obama signed the Wall Street reform bill today. It's the most sweeping overhaul of the nation's financial regulatory system since the Great Depression. The president says the reforms will put an end to taxpayer-funded bailouts of banks. The law also creates a consumer protection agency that will set rules to curb unfair practices in consumer loans and credit cards. Secretary of State Clinton announced tougher sanctions today against North Korea. They include freezing assets in an attempt to keep the North Korean dictatorship from buying and selling arms. The announcement was made as Secretary Clinton and Defense Secretary Robert Gates visited South Korea. They held a rare high-level meeting with members of the South Korean government. A boat named after one of the President Obama's best-selling books may be heading to Gaza in an attempt to break Israel's blockade. The Washington Post reports the vessel would be named the Audacity of Hope. The paper says Rashid Khalidi, a friend of the president's, is trying to raise money for the venture. The White House had no comment. And finally, speaking of friends and Facebook, uh, another milestone has just been hit. The world's largest social networking site has a population that is now larger than that of the U.S., Mexico, and France combined. Facebook announced it's registered its 500 million, that's a hard word to say, user today. About 70% of Facebook's user base now comes from outside the United States. And Campbell? That's today, terrifying. Uh, <laughs> They're taking over the world. It's very frightening. You know, I tried to friend you just a few minutes ago, and all I could do was like you, which is which is kind of strange. What's up with that? Um, yeah. you know, I'm I, I've like so much going on with Twitter. I just I gotta right. pick one or the other, right? Well, you know, you know, we've been no. friends a long time. <laughs> anyway. no, I have you blocked, Joe Johns? Right. I would it, never block you, Joe. I know. Um, well, I'm I'm gonna miss you a lot. I'm gonna miss so. you too, but we'll still see each other. I you know bet. where you live, my friend. So, that's right. Take Let's care. Take care.
<laughs> All right, coming up just ahead, uh, they were just children when Hurricane Katrina and the Haitian earthquake reduced their worlds to rubble. Well, now they meet in an effort to rebuild. We're going to have that story coming up next. Larry King Live starts in just a few minutes. Larry, what do you have tonight? Campbell, what a story. A little boy, along with his brother, killed their father almost nine years ago, Alex and Derek King. They've grown up now, and Alex is going to join us tonight to talk about redemption and a second chance at life. It's all next on Larry King Live. Now, they tell me, Campbell, that this is your goodbye night. They tell you that? Yes, it is indeed, uh, Larry. Um, it is my goodbye first, night. First, I, I can't tell you what a pleasure it's been working with you and doing these teases every night. What an extraordinary journalist you are. Thank you. I wish thank you, you thank nothing you. but the best with your family and whatever happens, life's trail, we shall we shall meet on the road. Without but a good doubt. Luck, Campbell. And, we, love, and we love you, Campbell. Right back at you. Thank you, Larry. Um, we'll miss you a ton. Have a great one. Thanks, Campbell. Bye. When we come back, uh, the sea, so tranquil, uh, so relaxing, yet it is still a jungle filled with wild creatures. Coming up, what happens when people come face to face with the unexpected? Uh, not quite Jaws, still pretty scary though. We'll explain. Larry King Live starts in just a few minutes, and I'll be back in a moment with a final thought. For those who may not already know, this is my last night hosting this program. And to each of you who tuned in every night or even every now and then, thank you. I mean that. Uh, I have already said pretty much everything I want to say about me, but I cannot say enough about the people who work on this show. They are the most talented, dedicated, loyal, caring group of people. I have really loved working with each and every one of them, and they're here, as you can see, with me right now in the studio. No, thank you. And I want to say thank you to you guys. I'm going to miss you. That's it. Good night, everybody. Thank you.